what's up guys hope you're making great progress selling on amazon uh, so we're receiving a lot of comments regarding a very common kind of an error while uh, listing product on amazon uh, which is related to the barcode and it's kind of showing an error which you can see on the, the screen as well value for externally assigned product identifiers shorter than the allowed minimum um 14 characters um and it's, it's kind of like a very common error uh, these days so and in, in my case i did uh, a dummy case uh, doing with with the flat file as well and when you list you know when you upload this kind of a flat file on amazon um you know it's it's going to show up an error in the product type uh, which would look something like this um so in this video we're going to go ahead and we're going to proceed with how to solve this kind of an error so without further ado let's just take into the video All right, so the Amazon algorithm identifies it as 8572 error. And to cut the long story short, they simply want you to provide some authentication that you own this barcode. So if you already follow me, you know that, you know, I've been guiding about how to list product uh, and from where to purchase barcode. JS1 is, is the real source from where you should be purchasing your barcode whenever you start listing product on Amazon. And you will be able to get proof from JS1 dashboard um, about the barcode that you own this barcode. So all you need to do is just simply go ahead and log into your JS1 uh, portal. If you've been following me, you know that I've already posted a lot of videos about how you should be listing product from where you should be getting the barcode. And you would see that, you know, identifier certificates from your dashboard. And you can simply go ahead and download um, each barcode lesson certificates with JS1 issues uh, against each barcode. So as you can see here, uh, since these were the authenticated uh, barcodes, so you'll be able to download from here um, and to provide some proof, you know, that you own this barcode, you can use this certificate. Also, the second document that you can submit as a proof is is uh, taking the screenshot of this section, you know, from managed company uh, details. So it's, as you already know that, you know, when we create JS1, uh, especially for listing product on Amazon, um, we, we make sure that, you know, the JS1 is created on company details. Uh, which we have or individual details we uh, um, which we use for creating Amazon Seller Central. Uh, once you have all of these details, you can go ahead and simply open up a case with Amazon. All right, so in case if you have used flat file, just like in my case, um, mention your, your badge ID in your case. Um, and also do mention about the error 8572 um, in, in, in your case starting off. Um, you will need to provide certain details, you know, uh, take a screenshot of the error in case if it is a flat file, take a screenshot, you know, by moving your cursor to the to the product type section, it's going to show up a notification, take a screenshot of that. Um, and you already have the, the documents, you know, to mention about the, your UPC, you know, uh, that you're using to list product and attach all those supporting files. Uh, so you have that JS1 certificate, you have that error file which you used, um, which would be showing, you know, what kind of error that you are facing would be a proof of that. Um, and also uh, the, the screenshot that you have taken from JS1 um, uh, with, within the same case. It is very likely possible if you use this technique starting off, um, you know, just simply open up a case and provide them all these details. Uh, you, they will ask you to provide again that within the same case so ideally you should open up a case and do mention that you're facing this kind of error 8572 what should you should provide to them and they'll they'll open they'll provide they'll they'll say to you that you know these are the details that you must provide uh, which you already have prepared um, once you you provide them with all the documents they will they will respond back to you with this um, similar kind of an email that you can go ahead and create a listing Hope this video helps you resolving this case.